From waste to wealth, now with Kedah being the Jelapang Padi of Malaysia, the state will no doubt contribute largely to the Bioeconomic Community Development Programme BCDP's effort to transform rice straw into high-quality biodegradable products. Now, this initiative, undertaken by Bionexus Status Company, Free the Seed, is also expected to earn the paddy farmers of Pendang a revenue of more than 7 million ringgit over a span of 10 years. Revenue from paddy planting in the northern state of Kedah has gone beyond rice grains that's obtained at harvest stage. The jirami, or rice straw, which is separated from the grains after the plants are threshed, is worth more than you can imagine talk about transforming waste to wealth. This is exactly what's happening in Pendang, Kedah. An annual 7 million ringgit for the farmers of Pertubuhan Peladang Kawasan Pendang Selatan, PPKPS, when rice straw is transformed into high-value biodegradable packaging products. The project under the Bioeconomy Community Development Programme, BCDP, involves a 10-year agreement signed between Bionexus Status Company, Free the Seed and PPKPS. It is overseen by the Malaysian Bioeconomic Development Corporation, Bioeconomy Corp. The agency says the farmers from PPKPS would supply 57,000 tons of rice straw from their 12 estates to Free the Seed. The rice straw would then be processed via Free the Seed's patented enzyme technology to produce biodegradable packaging products for local and export markets including the Netherlands, Germany and the UK. The biodegradable packaging industry has the potential to grow further due to efforts made by the Malaysian government and other countries in reducing the use of plastic and polystyrene materials. 600,000 kilogram CO2 reduction per annum dalam setahun bayangkan hanya dengan conversion ya itu yang kita tidak nampak dan sebab itu ini akan memberi satu sumbangan yang begitu besar kepada apa ini agenda green negara kita ya According to a study by Transparency Market Research, the global eco-friendly packaging market is expected to reach 177.7 billion US dollars or 762 billion ringgit in 2018 from 108.8 billion US dollars or 466.3 billion ringgit in 2011. Free the seat. It's basically sekarang ni kita mendapat rekonasi, maksudnya akreditasi dari negara luar juga. Tapi pemprosesan dia adalah berdua lah, maksudnya domestic supply and also the international demand yang perlu daripada uh, free the seed. Maksudnya peluang telah uh, penerimaan uh, di peringkat antarabangsa telah membuka mata bahawa teknologi yang dipakai oleh free the seed diiktiraf. Kedah State Executive Council member Datuk Nur Sabrina Muhammad Nur says she was proud Kedah could lead such an innovative initiative transforming raw materials to high-value, eco-friendly products while preserving the environment. Kita negeri yang pertama projek memproses jerami menjadi produk yang berharga. Negeri yang pertama memproses jerami. Sebab sebelum ni tuan-tuan dan perempuan, saya 15 tahun yang lalu saya melihat jerami itu memang ada potensi tapi tak tahu cara mana nak proses. Tadi kami dah melawat kilang free the seed di Gurun. Saya tanya dekat uh, CEO dia, dekat pengarah dia, macam mana rahsia mereka proses jerami? Sebab jerami ni pemprosesan dia payah. Kita nak ubah dia punya lignification tu. Macam mana? Saya duk tanya. Universiti banyak buat research, banyak buat penyelidikan. Tapi mereka dah jumpa rahsia. Mereka dah jumpa rahsia, free the seed dah pattern rahsia pemprosesan itu. Sebab itulah ni kita boleh dapat uh, proses jerami jadi barang berharga ni. No doubt, a significant achievement in the state government's effort to transform waste to wealth to drive the economy besides developing the farming community, especially in Kedah.